My brother. Hello, good sir. Hey, Captain Sweet. It's been a while. It sure has, man. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm uh, unveiling the new interfaces. Oh, nice. What do you think of the uh, the look? I love that you can just change the colors. Well, the words change too. So each of these is a perspective in the synergy wheel of the inflow matrix. And okay. so depending upon your team and what do you what do they want to represent, or you can go strictly to just a convo type or a convo type with a spell. Or a convo type with a spell, <laughs> with a question, and a perspective, or just your basic convo killer. <laughs> in case you go, fuck it, I'm buttoning. <laughs> I'm, buttoning in. I'm just gonna jump in here. Boom, drop the combo killer. <laughs> That's great. Hey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me what's been happening. You got like the command center there. You're like, burr, burr, burr. I'm just a big brain right now. You can feel like, you know, like amygdala and pineal gland firing because every time you press buttons, it's like, oh, what are you doing? Are you downloading the end of the matrix? I don't know. <laughs> so, my goal is to get all these people in interfaces and speaking in the inflow matrix. Speaking. This language, light language. Uh -huh. Is he your mom Shastika? Uh -huh. Is he your mom Shastika? No, he's a, another dear brother. Uh, wizard. wizard. Wizard alchemist. Who's that? This is my 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 god mom. God 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 mom. God mom. Yeah. Nice thing to have. She's down coming popping through on her way by and coming to play with us for a bit. Oh that's nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll go nature. Oh, there you go. Save the trees. That's your other mission. Fairy Creek. Yeah, how's it going? Up. They started, what's going on? There was like 2,000 people there last weekend. Really? Wow. Yeah, 2,000 no, people? Yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's quite a turnout. No, it's heating up. It's heating up. Amazing. Wow. I amazing. haven't been up since last summer, but I'm... Uh, watching carefully from the sidelines and, and doing Im immense work behind the scenes. <laughs> I feel like my, uh, my my whole setup here is really low tech now. Who knows? <laughs> I don't have to do something about this. <laughs> so tell me, give me some stories. What's been happening? Oh man, well, um, yeah, we've been, uh, we've been working hard on, on this, uh, online platform spirit hackers spirit hackers yeah we're just just about to do a little soft launch in the next little bit um yeah it's kind of an academy community site um for spiritual misfits and psychedelic junkies you know <laughs> spirit hackers what what kind of what kind of a platform is it? How can you ever talk to me about it? Well, I've been just working on it, really. I haven't talked too much about it, actually, which is good, because then it comes out you know, new and exciting for everyone. Um, and yeah, that's just been part, part of the stuff. We've also been working on um, uh, some protocols, uh, psychedelic protocols for awakening and integration as well, um, integration program and uh, a, a deep dive journey guide for like people to support people through psychedelic journeys um, and then we've gotten involved in uh, a new psychedelic startup for uh, our kind of st starting with ketamine as a <laughs> uh, yeah ther therapeutic ketamine for post-traumatic stress and treatment resistant depression 
and a, like an online platform so that therapists can do it like via Zoom and then have like a, a doula journey guide there as well. But, In Zoom. And a therapist can be literally monitoring possibly eight to 10 people at a time kind of thing. You know? Nice. So everybody's tripping? In their own space, and there's a guy online or a girl. Therapist online, yeah. And then they'll, you know, then they would have a, a, a journey guide there on the ground. Really? On the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like with them during the session. Um, yeah. And then, then there's a whole bunch of like trainings and, and online stuff around that, you know, for other people to be able to support someone through their process. And, uh, and then like nutritional stuff and whole, you know, ha you know, a biohacking concoction of uh, epicness to give people all that they need in order to like blast their third eye open into the next dimension. So this is different from Spirit Hackers? This is different than Spirit Hackers. It's called Next Dimension. It's Next going to public in about four months. It's like full on pubco stuff that I, I don't really know about, but we're learning quickly. <laughs> and how to deal with like people that have like are coming from mining and oil <laughs> and then, like jumped on the marijuana bandwagon along with crypto and now they're like hey psychedelics <laughs> you know and then so you so you're that with like you know people that have like been doing it for 15 20 years you know um Cause they're like, well, yeah, we can do this and we'll pat it with all these PhDs and all this stuff. We'll, you know, make sure that investors are happy. And, um, we're like, well, let's make sure it works. <laughs> yeah. so, so are you looking to do large numbers? Is that, is that the idea? Yeah. It's like, we're, we're looking to have, you know, like, uh, 50 to 60 centers around throughout Canada and then like, you know, pretty large online platform as well. We're hoping to be the first to market and we'll have a, a license to produce and, and sell uh, ketamine, psilocybin and MDMA. What? Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of a thing. <laughs> Every time I talk to you, you've got a new project going. I know. Yeah. Yeah. We've been pretty, pretty focused on this the last little while and and then I've been like popping in and doing like a creature role every once in a while just to like make sure that, you know, keep that going. And then I've got a film that I've been working on uh, producing uh, for a couple of years and it just got funded. So we're going to shoot in October. So I'm trying to get everything with Next Dimension and Spirit Hackers up and running because I'll probably be offline for three and a half months shooting. What's that film? It's called The Last Neanderthal. So it's like, it's... Uh, Andy Circus, who played Gollum in Lord of the Rings. He's playing a Cro Magnon man, meets this Neanderthal woman, and coming of age story. Uh, Wait a yeah. sec. Is that anything to do with the uh, Clan of the Cave Bear? I guess it would kind of like, you know, maybe there's there's some pieces in there like take that and like put it with like you know today's special effects technology and you know fights so it's, it's, like it's it's, and tigers and oh wow you know woolly mammoths and yeah and so, and so what are you the producer the director or I'm the associate yeah i was exact and then i kind of stepped it down because there was some big people that came to the table and they didn't they wanted this like clean i was like it's not what i was there for so um, and then I'm going to do the movement choreography and then I'm going to play a couple of the creatures. I'm going to do, so, do like a, that saber tooth fight with uh, Andy. I'll be playing the saber tooth tiger. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and that's this. I have fun with that stuff. Man. I have fun with like creatures and golems and goblins and orcs. And that's a big things. creature. Yeah. That'll be a good one. Yeah. So it'll be a suit. And... Extension. Like, you have to move like a saber tooth tiger, huh? Yeah, and then being daddy, you know? daddy's the that's the big one, making sure that my daughter's you know not getting like more gallons jumping on her from her teacher. Like that, you know? 
what, what what's the connection between spirit hackers and the soul network um soul network was more was more for like you know media it's kind of like soul network was early days bit flicks and then bit flicks and then, um, and then you know just got so big <laughs> that and, and and it just pivoted to more of like wanting to do stuff more community based more spirit hacking you know so, cons. so what kind of platform is spirit hackers uh it is a so like a social media platform it's got but you can build your own courses on there so anyone can build a course they can charge their own charge for their own courses they can create a circle on, on the circle they can have topics and um you know group chats and um yeah the whole thing you can launch events like have live streaming through there live stream your event pretty much like mostly most of what facebook can do but then we also have the whole courses thing so you can you can be, either be a course or it can be a, like a community so you charge whatever 30 bucks to be a part of your community uh, and then you know so it just gives it it's interesting we've been doing a lot of studies on like what you know why you would charge for something like that you know and it's just it's amazing when people pay you know even 10 or 20 bucks a month how much more they'll participate and be involved and, and it's actually um, but where it's right now it's free to get on the network and then you can create your own courses and then we just do, we'll just take a small cut of that that's our business model really and then we have a marketplace as well that we're building so. so is it ready to test yeah 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 you can just go pop on there right now and play around yeah. what do you want to i'll make you host you show me around or sure So is it any different from Mighty Networks? Is that kind of like one of your competitions? Uh, it is Mighty Networks. Yeah, we're building it on Mighty Networks. Oh, you're building it on Mighty Networks? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Francis. Elijah, Francis. Francis. Hello, Elijah. Francis. From the mountain? Sometimes. Taking the shot every day? Depends yeah, if they throw me off or not. <laughs> I like that background. Oh, sweet. Good. <laughs> Uh, yikes so you're actually not building a platform you're building a community community on tiny networks yeah okay yeah uh, we're building a community that has many different little sub communities in it and how many users you got so far well, we, uh, we haven't really started to do any launching yet. I think it was just 60 just for like peripheral, like, you know, as we're building and doing certain things, people are, you know, we're getting people to build their own courses and build their own communities. So like psychedelic communities that already have groups of people that have been sitting with them for periods of time, they can build their own group on there and, you know, talk and share with the group and offer integration support stuff like that that's one kind of model and then we've got uh soulful sundays which is going to be a uh ultimately we'll have it weekly so you'll be on there and you can uh join in a group of people doing some we'll have like we want to have our own like prayer book and song book so everyone can get together and feel the good vibes you know so uh -huh. breath work and some tapping and stuff like that and then um yeah, we've got like a building a yoga team. So we'll have like yoga every day, live yoga, qigong, meditation, uh, flow every day. Uh, so that'll be like one that they can bolt on if they want. <coughs> and uh, yeah, let me, let me just go in there and see what else. There's so much that's going on. I guess you know around. Do you know Mighty Networks? A little bit. I played played with it a little bit. Yeah. 
So yeah, I mean, we've got like stuff on, you know, we've got immunity masters. So we're trying to bring together a bunch of immunity, you know, like David Wolf type um, to, to give talks on immunity. Um, we've got a, like a whole medicine community that's, that's on there, plant medicine. Um, so, you know, lots of stuff on upgrading brain optimization you know we've got some stuff on like some of the stuff to like uh support people that have like you know there's there's that whole thing with like uh, people getting virus infections you know that are being called covid but there's a lot of different stuff out there so like different support support the immune system um doing your shadow work um, yeah, so then, so in here we've got circles. So we've got one, Re-Inhabiting the Village, which is a book that was written um, on uh, Re-Inhabiting the Village and what that means. Yeah. So you can come in and join Separation and fear. this group. Working together to find a common thread to create solutions to issues both local and global building on our inherent interdependence so that we might move. Um, yeah. Golden Codes, uh, a friend of mine does these like amazing activations, Golden Code activations. Multidimensional architect, a miracle facilitator who channeled a modality named Golden Codes. Yeah, she, she, she speaks in light language. It's wow. Really cool stuff. Yeah, um, we got a little Jedi. We have a so the four winds wisdom circle. So there's going to be elders giving teachings, wisdom elders, uh, Chief Phil Lane, a bunch. Um, so that's one thing. Conscious school for crystal kids. So you know, teaching kids how to read and write blindfolded and. Yeah, next level. Jedi Council, that was you're you're on that one. Sure. And uh, I've been wanting to talk to you actually about getting the uh, planetary gardens guardians on here. It's been mm -hmm. uh, on my list for a while actually. Sacred Medicine Tribe. So this one's, you know, uh, something that's sort of a lot, of, there's a lot of uh, support for people that are in the psychedelic arena, different stuff, that, you know, a lot of the stuff that MAPS is doing to uh, test, you know, the use of MDMA, psilocybin for different uh, trauma and how to do smudging, we're gonna have a smudging course. And then, yeah, you know, when, that's all circles. So we have a bunch of circles and then there's events. There's not many events yet, but uh, I've been teaching this little Jedi's training, teaching kids some of the mask work, how to, how to read and write blindfolded. Have our next one coming up. That's, that's, that's really exciting. Kids are loving that. Um, astrology stuff that'll be going on this is where it'll be we'll have the yoga and all that stuff qigong um, and then there's courses so yeah anyone can build a course um they're secret until you're so i can you can see them but if you go on there you wouldn't see them because right now these ones anywhere they say secret only the people that are building them can see them so we've got this is one we're working on right now called the awakening protocol which is uh energy medicine, breath work, uh, Qigong, some uh, Kundalini stuff integrated with medicine work. Next level Samadhi experiences consistently and being able to integrate it into your life. Um, wisdom master's training. So that's uh, a lot of different uh, ancient teachings. And we're essentially put, compiling stuff that we're finding on YouTube, but like the ones that YouTube's eventually gonna take down if they haven't already, and stuff that I've known about for a long time. You know, like Master So that can light things on fire with his hands. Um, you know, 
teachings and stuff. Alliance code is something that um, my friend that did the golden codes, she's now created the Alliance code, which is to bring together people to, um, to sort of focus on very specific uh, tasks. So this would be something that you'd be interested in. Uh, medicine wheel training, which is what I did for years with Through the Four Winds. Um, so we're bringing someone on to teach the medicine wheel training to understand how the medicine will works use it to map your life essentially map spiritual your spiritual journey uh permaculture academy so we're building on a whole permaculture training uh it's kind of a beginner training to a larger academy so when you go into these trainings you know that they'll be um, i don't have access because i have two two members uh, so yeah, this is just a guide to Rappi, so you can learn how where the Rappi comes from. We, we're in our marketplace, we're going to have a, a Rappi section, so you can buy from different tribes. <clears throat> Money is going to go to the tribe, <clears throat> and just how to do it properly, how to make it a sacred relationship with it. Um, yeah. So a lot of people are getting rapid now and they're just snuffing it all the time. It's, it can be like a completely different experience if you're, you know, have an intention with it, really use it in a sacred way. Becoming a deep dive journey guide. This is for like people that um, say, um, <clears throat> say your friend decided they wanted to go and do an ayahuasca ceremony. When they come back, how do you support them? You know, what the, you know, people that don't know what psychedelics are, how, you know, what they might be like, what they might be needing, <clears throat> maybe a partner, how to support them through that journey. And also maybe even sit with somebody that uh, wants to take, you know, five grams of mushrooms, you know, and sit, how do you sit with them and support them through that? What are some of the things you can do to support that journey? And we've got a, we're building a microdosing course then our academy, our online academy for the kids teaching. We've got so many cool teachings coming through for them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the next level. Um, this is a friend of mine who's building her, her coaching course on here. Uh, Feldenkrais, which is a really cool math. It's a, yeah, just beautiful method to connect deep to, into your body and really open up your body through like subtle movements. It's, it's really cool stuff. Um, Mona's building uh, our Beyond Vanity, Power of Hair Care, Power of Hair and Self Care. So for women, well, for everyone, but to how to like really connect with your hair. <laughs> for those of us that have hair. And, you know, <clears throat> doing a hair ceremony, burning your hair, if they're like you're in a time of transition, how to, yeah, there's lots of self-care tips and techniques. And then this is the one that I'm building, the Sky Method, multi-dimensional energy work. So we'll take that from powerful opening. So this is like a culmination of 15 years of uh, supporting people in psychedelic journeys, like how to do that, how to, you know, working with breath, working with energy, how to keep their chakras clear and open, how to keep their kundalini moving so that there's essentially this beautiful open channel so that when they're in the psychedelic, they're having the most profound experiences of being actually awake inside of those multidimensional spaces and being able to like pendulate them in and out of like deep diving into maybe some inner child work and then back into feeling pretty safe and repatterning some of that. So there's lots of like some somatic work. <clears throat> Anyways, that's something I'm working on right now. And then, yeah, the psychedelic support and integration. So giving people skills to how to best support themselves with integration before and after a psychedelic uh, journey. Those are some of the ones that are on there right now. That we're working on. Wow. What a fantastic um, subject curriculum. You've, right. really, you've really got it nailed in terms of uh, juicy content. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And it, you know what's really cool about it is that like every, anyone can create their own course, but it's this beautiful hive where people can cross pollinate communities. You know, remember we always talked about, you know, you've got the 
I won't say a name, but you know, this person's building this thing over here. This person, yeah. Just, you know, that really just bugged me so much. And, um, and I had like a run in even with, you know, a couple of friends as I was doing bit flicks around that. And, and so when I saw this platform and I was like, wow, this is a really good solution because why not, you know, everyone build something together, you know, and, uh, and to, to, to build your own, um, you know, Kajabi or something like that in your own course, it's like a hundred bucks a month. It's free to sign up here and, and do it here. And you have a better opportunity of like sharing and getting it out there through collaboration, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, I looked at Tiny Networks and I sort of identified it as the best that I saw out there for creating curriculum. Yeah. I haven't, um, I'm building my course, con well, I, I'm, yeah, I, I've, I'm close to that. I have to do that, but I have to get my card sets finished and up. I've got, a, I got someone I'd like to introduce you to one day. His name is Gino Yu from uh, Hong Kong. He's a sixth generation PhD and he's very networked around the planet. And he has a sort of a dream. He showed me his life work just a little while ago and he, he popped his pieces together and essentially it's it's you know kind of like here's your uh normal being in the corporate world here's your let's say artist or inventor or whoever and they're both reaching a point where they can't exist like that these guys push too far and these guys get thrashed in some way and then they have their awakening in whatever manner they have the awakening right and then there's the the point of destabilization and then restabilization and then finding work and finding a life right after awakening yeah. and, and then at each of those stages he's got some sort of institution or network or idea that is helping the person along the way in a sense oh beautiful yeah. and his what i see with what you have is you're doing the same thing but you're doing it kind of all together mm -hmm. and I, I see that you got pieces of his puzzle because you figure anyone who's gone through the process, anyone who's helping people through the process, obviously kind of sees the beginning, middle and end. And probably what you're missing is the larger entrepreneurial network to assist people to, after they restabilize, to do the work that they love to do, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, well, and people can, you know, people can build that, you know, even if it's like my friend that's doing the coaching. You can have a full coaching program on there that you can charge, you know, you can set up your, your modules and everything right on there you can have in top you can change the word topics to like say for you it could be you know with planetary guardians it could be like the things that we're tackling so it could be like um, missions or something like that you know and then each mission you know you can have videos and, and break it down and then you know you can have your specific courses for those topics or those missions and then you know so it's each one of those is like its own, like you could, it's pretty infinite what you can build. So it's, it's neat that it's, it's able, we're able to put it together. Um, so, you know, I'm, well, I, the, the thing that when I have had some pretty profound experiences in the last uh, year, um, psychedelic experiences of like complete remembrance, you know, but you still have to kind of like deflate back into 3D. And, and there is no awakening that I've seen yet, that you, unless you, you come into this dimension awake. Like the pro, it's a process that we're all on together that I, that from what I've experienced. And at some point there will be this sunrise, you know? But, um, but when you, come, when you come through that, part of that, the empathic nature is to see the lower vibrational, you know, gravitational density of the, the, the unconsciousness of the collective, right? And that, like, the sort of ocean of, of suffering, the ocean of grief and, sh and shame, and hatred, you know, that those underworld, like, that's still there. And that has to continue to be, like, processed and worked through. So, so when you see the, the magnitude of the mission at hand, the only thing you think about is like, there's just no way we can do this alone. There's no, it's never meant to be that way. And so, um, so it's just like, I, after that, like any rivalry consciousness is out the window because it's like, 
as long as that's there, you know, the divide and conquer, right? That's why that works because anytime that we're divided, we're fucked. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and we need each other, like truly, truly, truly. Um, so, yeah, with this one, with Spirit Hackers, it's just, for me, I don't feel attached to being anything to do with financial gain. It's just, like, let's get something that's coherent and working and, and everyone's working together and feeling uplifted and supported by one another. And, you know, um, that to me is most important. I'm gonna make a shit ton in psychedelics. So that's, that's <laughs> that worked out. Well, I mean, what I see is, is a, you've made the container or you, you found the container to, to put all your life work in there and to, like I, I'd seen you identify, I guess, with Soul Network, but you know, different shows. And again, you know, there's just so many, it's, there's so many beautiful new topics that are never touched by normal media, and you've got them there, right? And and this is the new paradigm. This is like the kids are going to eat that stuff up, and and the adults are going to eat that stuff up. And I I see that it's uh, just with what you've done, you know, you've done a great amount of work. It's beautiful, man. It's it's yeah. a, it's a work of art. Yeah, it's coming together. It's still, it's still pretty PC at this point, but it, it, but it, but you've got your. I mean, just even identifying those and bringing in the allies and having yours, right? Having you get to go. This is my, you know, and you get to, you get to pour as much of your learning into that, right? And just and come up with something really succinct, and that's exciting to get to that point because I think a lot of people. They learn a lot, but they don't sort of put it all together, integrate it. And, and like, I, I have my own problems with that. So I understand, you know, when someone has done it, I can see it, yeah. you know, the, the exactness of the languaging, you know, and the exactness of knowing what you want and having the, the place to put it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that re-inhabiting the village it was, it was a really neat, I mean, that came later, actually, it was just like a week and a half ago, but they uh, they took a group of people and essentially broke down you know what are the different aspects of a of a functioning village and how you know how do we recreate that and and they wrote a book with all of those chapters and essentially i was kind of like it was, it was a distillation for me i was like oh they really distilled this down it's like you know it needs to be a space for the elders to speak it needs to be a space for the healers it needs to be a space for the permaculture and the, the people that are you know, saving the world by saying in the trees, whatever. But like that whole kind of thing, like the grandmothers, the grandfathers, the mother, the father, the child, the girl, the boy, you know, the children, children's fire. We, we talked about that. But yeah, I, um, I don't think I've really even tapped into it. I mean, really, like, you know, I've th- you're, you're on my list, of like, you know, but it's like we haven't chatted. That's how much has gone on with you being at the, like near the top of my list. So one thing that I've been good at in my life is connecting with a lot of amazing beings that are doing shit in this planet, you know? So it's now it's just a matter of like uniting them, inspiring them. And, and it's just one phone call, right? So it's like, you're already doing it out there anyways. You've got this website that's out there and you're trying to get people to, well, do it there, sure. Do it over here as well. Just, and I'll, you know, in an hour or two, I can actually have you pretty much everything that's on your website I can have on here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? so, no yeah yeah I, I i see it i mean i'm i'm like you like like or, or i mean i think like a lot of people who you know who don't just want to be a teacher they want to create a school and and you with the amount of content i have it's kind of like if i started making courses at some point you get really irritated because i got so many courses um so i'd, I'd want to kind of participate like just, I guess for me, it's starting with one, right? Like I can talk all I want about my many courses, but I just got to get one complete. And what I yeah. see is, is I start, I, I do have the Planetary Guardian one and I started, but kind of like, it was like that, you know, you do a little bit and then you're kind of like, okay, no, that's, I got to spend months in here and I got to finish these things first and do these things. So anyway, so I, I, I think if um, <clears throat> the, the main course I've been looking at is called Design Your Ideal Job. And so it's it's like taking all the maps and creating the infrastructure for anyone to custom design exactly what they want. What about like Dharma design? Ooh. 
because job to me is like is it just a vibration oh dharma design design your ideal job yeah that's old paradigm isn't it? i'm using old paradigm to describe design your dharma does dharma design i could see that like for sure because like you know i mean if you think about it most of the programming at school has been all around job right yeah dharma design it's okay. kind of like, yeah because you really have to like dharma design is similar to psychedelic work and that like you're not actually trying to find something you're removing all those things that you aren't so you can actually truly see who you are and where you're actually going right because it's uh, it's already there and it's just that we call that hummingbird that's the north that's north work which is aligning to the sweetness like following your yes you know mm. and so yeah Here, give me the hosting back and we'll we'll use the oracle remedy because have we used that tool yet Oracle remedy, no. No, the remedy oracle. We, I, I, it's the it's the first online divination tool that I got. That's me. Uh, so make me host, and I, I'm going to take you to the. Oh, I got to make you host now. How... Yeah. Right. Just just go to my name to the right. To the, to the right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, make host. Okay, sweet. You're back. Okay, so I've been working with Nova Programmer over time, and we've actually got about three products, but none of them are complete. But this is the the, the nearest one to be complete. So it's the first. Do you know? Do you remember the spell of the value, the conversation type, and the lens? Uh, yep, yep. So this is this That's is it. We got. And, that was big for me. Remember we did that one, that one session, the table session. Yeah. I'm just getting to play with it a little bit. Like you said, that like basic training is like huge for most people. <laughs> just what, okay, so here we are. How do you like that artwork? Love it. So Hay, Hayes did that. That's a, a lady down in Florida. Okay, so let's say how best to maybe to support your or is it a network or a yeah it's uh, academy academy oh nice hackers academy Great. is that a good question or maybe or how best to integrate into uh, yeah yeah that'd be nice it's definitely you're in the vision okay so here we go we pop that in and what do we get Awareness, ingestion, nice, impact. So awareness, to value being able to differentiate between different internal and external states and objects. Ingest. Is that a random generation or how did that? Yeah, this is random. Okay. So these are the cards that, that it pulled for value, combo type, and lens. The value is awareness, yes. Can you explain awareness? Okay. Oh. Well, I mean, let me take a look at the main focus point is the convo type in the middle. So that's the ingestion to discuss the entry of any resource into the system. So <laughs> of all the 72 conversation types, that is the one that's kind of like a cell wall going, you know, what's coming in into the system, right? Yeah, so this is this is fully random or did it would it have used that word integrate to to, to narrow it down? No, fully random. Wow. Well, that's incredible. Just that that would with that question especially right no this this thing works man this thing works did you did you encode some like archangel energy into it or something well i i well you know that i mean the there's about 100 value cards there's 72 conversation types and there's about 200 cards for the third for the lenses the four levels of the inflow matrix so all the card set is behind that so at some point i have a little button by the by the card set but this is just basically a way to make spells that I tell you, man, I mean, this, this works. It worked like, this is unique. This is, this is, there's no other way like this question with these things. And it's one once in a lifetime opportunity kind of thing. Well, you know, the, on the, just to, just to, just to diverge just for a sec, the on in at the back end, when you're, when you're in, when you're in, let's say you're in uh, the uh, inflow matrix uh, circle on spirit hackers, Mm -hmm. There's a link and it's, it's like linked to the website, but 
that can be changed to link to th this. So if they wanted to quickly go and do a quick, they, they could link right over to this. For sure. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Like I saw this as like a sort of like an online portal that would really get a lot of uh, traction because, uh, you know, free divination. And if you if you just, if you press the, press the card, you go to a blog that would have all of the ingestion conversations in it. Okay. But but I don't have that hooked up yet, but I, I at least have the, um, it goes to the website. Because on the website, I have all the cards, the value cards, the conversation kills. And each value card, like if we went to awareness, it says get training. So the idea was to have a master or it could be like all the other teachers in in the spirit hackers where each teacher chooses a, a value uh, yeah. and, then, and then that becomes their mastery and so you're you're taking individual values and if you've reached a certain level of awareness um then you become the you know the master of it and so then people would just press that door and then go to their course or their website interesting wow neat neat wow well, maybe we could we could somehow yeah build this into it yes um wow and then, and then in depth wow so it's like again the choice wheel each one of those is blogs there's over 300 blogs on here but it's all empty <laughs> but i've been like you building the container and stuff like that getting back to that so how would you answer that if you were using those cards okay how would i answer the question how best to integrate into into the spirit hackers academy um, using these cards um, so combo type being ingestion uh, so so that would be the we have a conversation around how to best discuss the entry of any resource resource being the uh this this uh, beautiful ecosystem into a larger or let's say larger into or how to how to blend or how to make them synergize together in a way that is is, is uh, a larger resource for people um the value that it would bring i guess to do that is that well the thing is you're looking at the main part has intention and attention so the intention is bringing the energy through your heart. The attention is focused through your third eye. So it's kind of like the, uh, the the middle card is like your fifth chakra. The green card is your heart. And then your third eye would be the blue card. So I just, I realized it was like the fourth, fifth, and sixth alignment mm. of your throat chakra, what you see and what energy you put into it. So, so the awareness is putting the intention into the ingestion condo so we're both bringing awareness into how do you bring resources in to the spirit hacker spirit hackers right and the resources yeah. are the allies you know the courses the people the the uh, anything that is going to help out the spirit hackers comes through uh the resources the the infrastructure right i mean that's and then um here so this is where the in resources are so in the inflow matrix it's kind of like there's an ingestion and there's an extrusion the ingestion is what brings it in the extrusion is what sends it out so it's like the mouth and the anus or like uh bouncers at a, at a bar they're extruders they kick things out that aren't supposed to be there mm -hmm. so every system at every level has an ingester and an extruder and that's from living systems theory. And that's part of the background of the combo type because it's not a normal type of, you know, most people aren't going to think about this and go, oh, ingestion. Oh, that's what that is. This is kind of like, there's a few of the combo types that are kind of new to kind of the communication game in a sense, but are taking into account a function that we don't usually talk about. So then the impact you're, you're looking, I mean, that's a pretty good general word for looking at what is the impact on the system for bringing the resource in and having as much awareness about that. So for you, you're like, 
the king, this is the kingdom, you're bringing people into the kingdom, and how do you bring them in? Like what kind of invitation and, and what, who do you not bring in? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you qualify to have a course? Because at some point you're gonna, you might have hundreds of thousands of people going, hey, I wanna have, put my course in there. Mm -hmm. And you've got to decide, right? Because you've probably got hundreds of people that you know that are at your, you know, at the level that you want. You, you know, as you say, you, your wealth is in the people that you know. And so you, you, you just built your container and now it's like, holy cow, you spent a lot of time figuring out who's in, who's out, or just dealing with everybody, right? Like, I hope you have some, some of the team that's helping. Um, and they, yeah, we're, I mean, we're going to have to scale that for sure, you know, but, uh, it, you know, there's people that are interested and it's just sort of like, you know, finding somebody that's really good business management to sort of now kind of scale it into, because we, you know, there's so many courses that are out there that are great already. And it's like, why and reinvent the wheel that's like you know again it's like this beautiful course someone's got sitting out there in the middle of nowhere floating out in in the internet and you know it's like so integrating yeah that that is a it's a good question but um ultimately this so you're saying that these three are kind of like the upper centers connecting yeah um but it's it's like a spell it's like it either answers the question or it tells you how to answer the question. Mm. And so the, the, the conversation type, like it's kind of like the answer is the ingestion. I mean, it's a very important question I find for any kind of business system of, you know, how do you bring new people in and how do the people that are there welcome the people coming in? Right. And if it's done right, then there's harmony. But if it's not done right, then there's conflict because the people that are already there they feel as if they're, you know, they're getting encroached upon and the people that are coming in, they don't feel as if they're being appreciated. And that's, that's a huge thing, I think, for new paradigm type people, because a lot of them have been dismissed a lot. A lot of them have been kicked out of other structures. Well, we're, we're, we're definitely getting uh, this kind of like this feeling of like, why would I bring my thing to your thing and build your thing, you know? So it's like, and I think it's because, you know, they, they want to be valued for their energy, right? And it's like, well, that's, that's ultimately what we're trying to do, but it's rare. <laughs> so, you know, that it's a valid, it's, you know, you can validate that because like most places they go out there, it's a very extractive type of like business deal. Like, how can I get something more for me, you know? Mm. So I think the impact is like to be able to deliver the awareness of that, you know, that sort of message of like, you know, the victory of one is the victory of all, you know, um, that we truly are one being and the only way forward is for us to find a way to like support and serve each other's upliftment. Um, and if we can, if we could, if we could land that with people, I think then that's what people, a lot of people that I, that are at that, like a, like a consciousness that I, I feel we want to have in this in this in spirit hackers is is like people that have kind of gotten to that you know and they're sort of like ah oh, thank god you know that there's another one of us here and then it's another one and it's another one and i think that it is like re reintegrating back into the village that way at least um, an online you know crack at it so. well the, i mean i uh I think you're right in terms of the cooperation versus competition and that the people that are not either drawn or, you know, if they're kind of thinking again, what are they getting rather than what are they giving, that they're probably not the kind of people you want teaching there anyway. Yeah, that's, um, that's kind of the sort of like, yeah, it's sort of naturally, it's like a natural selection process in a way. But I think that do you, do you have a good survey? Hmm? Do you have a good survey? Oh, that'd be good something to. Because I would say um, I've got actually one that's not bad that I made for allies, and I just made one for the shared knowledge community. Um, but I, I would suggest that that's going to be your biggest. You need a, a process to bring people in that is a bit automated. So by the time they get to your choices, they're already ready, as mm -hmm. opposed to 
having to vet them in some manner. And I think that's what the survey does, a very, very detailed, you know, boom, 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 boom. And by the end, they're either in or they're out kind of thing. We have a, we have a, we're redoing our, our, our uh, like invitation page. So like when people come to the network and they get and sort of that landing page that tells them, you know, or informs them what they're, what they're participating in. Um, and then on the, when, once they sign up and they go in on that sort of entry page, like their first sort of the board, um, there's like questions like, you know, what, what do you, what would you hope to get out of being here in Spirit Hackers or what would you want to see that kind of thing? So I don't, those are some kind of survey like questions, but I don't really understand how we could give people a survey prior to, um, let me send, let me, I'll send you something. Okay. Just, just to give you an idea of, of uh, what I'm thinking about. Okay, cool. And um, I think it would also like, cause you're gonna need to distinguish the teachers from the from the students. Cause the people coming in, you know, you're, whoever is a student is gonna be very different from the teacher, right? And so you need right. different different processes to bring each of those in. Right. And right now the teacher one would be more um, is more important, right? Because you're, you, I would say you've got to put some sort of limits on the amount of courses coming in. And then that will give you, if you're going to 200 people and you've only got 50 spots, you know, you're going to fill those spots very quickly and easily if they know that, as opposed to I've got unlimited spots and I'm going to 200 people kind of thing. It's true. Yeah. We were thinking about like the structure that, that, you know, now we're kind of getting to that. Like, what does that look like? As far, yeah, for sure. And, and also like the categories, right? Like, so we don't want everybody doing integration training, mm -hmm. so like having the golden codes and these different, the permaculture and those kind of things to really sort of like feel into what would be the, the best sort of spirit hacker uh, content. Well, it would be neat to take all your courses and pop them down and then look for the pattern mm -hmm. and then look for the bigger pattern of what isn't there. And so that would be the structure of your curriculum to kind of go, okay, well, we need this, 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 and then you can match to the people you know or, or people that sort of fit that pattern. That's very different from just opening the doors and saying, okay, guys, come in. We do want a bit of this. We don't want a bit of that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I, I think that might be a good idea. Definitely want to flesh that out before we do our launch. So I mean, that's something you can support us with. Right? Sure. No, I, I, this interests me. I mean, this, this is, uh, I like doing stuff like this. And I, and I know, you know, I, I know quite a few spiritual masters that are like, have, like, just like you say, they got a course and they got nowhere to go. And then these guys are brilliant, you know, they're brilliant. There's masters out there. And they're like, brilliant. my master Zoe, he's the living master. I mean, the stuff I've seen him do is stuff that I've seen him on video and, and, you know, he did a healing on me where he touched my back. He puts a piece of uh, paper towel down, wets it, and then puts a uh, tin foil on top of it. Touches, touches on the spot on your, on your, your meridians in like two seconds. I'm like, ah, and then he has to move it again. And he'll take like a piece of tissue and he just goes like that over top of the wet tissue and it's steaming in a second. Mm. And he's, I, he's, I've seen a video where he takes a, a like a, a picture screen or picture frame with that brown paper in it. And he, he puts water on that thing. So it's like, you know, and the brown paper is wet and he's got it, he's got it uh, balanced on two chairs. He steps up on the chair. He's got a guy holding hands on either side and he steps on that water and then they let go of his hands. And, and I've done a lot of these Qigong practices and I get the technology behind it. It's just Jesus walked on water. He's doing the same thing. Essentially, he's using the, the something to do with the, the energy frequency of the water and that he's creating it. He's creating a, some sort of a substrate there using his own uh, plasma. And somehow he's able to create the ability to... He's got, I've got a picture where he's doing the other with the iron body, which is a the opposite um, practice. So there's the there's a there's the Merkaba that goes this way, or they call it the bell, and then there's the one that goes this way, the upper and the lower. Mm -hmm. The upper generates that yang energy down and roots 
into the earth and he's got a picture with a whole team of football players trying to push him over they can't move him he's this little like four foot seven kind of man and uh yeah so anyways but yeah he's he's in san diego and he's you know any, any one time he's got like 15 students in his little thing you know it's like this fucking living master you know um so yeah you're right like it's like so finding the right content and making sure it's just like serious awakening codes mm. yeah i mean i uh yeah I, I guess you know there's a lot i can do if you, if you want some help it'd be great yeah we, we need it yeah. <laughs> and you know if it can help what you're doing as well you know if there's some synergy there we're just like do this put it together and get it going yeah no I, i've always wanted to work with you and uh, been waiting for it and if this is it this is this is uh it seems i mean i've been I've been working my ass off in, in terms of doing a lot of things which I haven't been able to do to get my work, you know, at, at some kind of form. So I actually have, because of Gino, a team of, of master students in Hong Kong that are helping to bring the card set into Hong Kong and maybe China. I see. And wow. so <laughs> the inflow matrix might get Chinese <laughs> first, which would wow. be pretty funny. Because when I was explaining it, you know, you're fat. <laughs> so I find people are, <laughs> they're very straight passive you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like hitting them with you know abstract math after abstract, math abstract math and you know, they try to what is he talking about <laughs> yeah yeah I yeah, yeah. try to translate it well it's pretty in-depth stuff I mean you keep everything looking simple and straightforward on there but there's so much to it well I've tried like this is again getting to the point of simplicity right where uh i had my first team meeting where we had four of us in this and each one had a frame and it just it changes the framing of the convo of, of zoom because zoom there's no way to know who's speaking or what kind of anything so this is and i was waiting for the software and then i finally realized Fuck, i can build this stuff and stick it in zoom and it looks like it and that's all you need for now you know I, do what you can with what you got <laughs> yeah so i guess then um you have like you would work with a team and you'd pull that up like that and then you'd extrapolate from there and work, work well, well just think about it like the, the there's a big mind happening and right now everyone's in zoom yeah and no one is framing conversations yeah. like it's a new skill and i've got you know all of a sudden you know I, i'm on the verge of of, of of uh i don't know i mean i think these things but <laughs> humans tend to imitate right and i mean anyway like these are doorways these are like interfaces to your system and your system is being created in this great mind and we're just like every interface is like a door and you and you can codify what you're doing in here and you could create courses like basically it's like here's course one this is the convo type this is the value this is and you just frame your whole your your episode here and then your people come into the course and they everything about your course is in your framing then you take them through a process boom that's your one module next module different something is different right right so for me i just i'm going to start these training courses where i'm using the frames to show you know all the different models and the difference in softwares is like using models to organize the languaging rather than the the functional buttons that they have Mm -hmm. so it's kind of like it, it's such a different way to do to do software and i believe that we're aiming at the user being able to design their interface Love it. and just moving things around and all of a sudden the, the database is just moving according to whatever we're building so there's a new type of software i think that will be coming where we will get to design how we want to organize our information flow and that's that's what i've been working on right i was just talking to um uh mark what's mark's last name karen from, from yeah. mark karen from the um plant the uh, plant medicine spirit. oh yeah yeah mark i know mark mark yeah 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 mark he's great um he's uh he's doing his own uh 
online sort of uh, trainings and courses and um, and interviews and, and stuff like that. He's got his own s studio set up, but he was talking about how Zoom has created a lot of functionality and a lot of new sort of apps and things like that to like make it an incredible experience. I haven't really played around with it much, but he said it's pretty awesome what you can do now. And you, I mean, you can go into small breakouts. You could have a hundred people, and then go into twenty-five rooms of four people, right? So you can. That's you need the smaller group mentality, I think, for some exercises. Yeah. I've been in this Les Ciel program. I don't know if I told you about that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Les Ciel. I was with I was with the Les Ciel in the beginning. <laughs> okay, so you were at one of the symposiums, or? Yeah, I was in the first symposium. Oh, you were. It was one of the first one forty-four that were were muscle really? to from around the world to. Yeah, I got a call. They're like, you're chosen and we've must tested the multiple chosen ones. You're supposed to be. I was one of the chosen ones. Yeah, so I went to Barcelona with the first. Wow. The Kogi were there and all the holy shit. All the all the twelve were there. So anyway, so I, I've been except for, except for the woman from Mexico that she passed away, the, the Mushroom woman. I was so wow. excited to see her, Teresa. Wow. Anyways, cool. So you're working with them now? So they did the two symposiums. And then what happened is they, they, they didn't kind of achieve the results they wanted with the groups. So then they brought in five people for the last six months to help design a one year training program to take people through a training program specific to bringing out a group coherent so that solutions for the world's problems can come through in the, their different teams they got like an energy team a water team they've got like um all of the aspects of sort of like what the world needs on teams 12 teams of 12 and then gino <laughs> introduced me and dharmendra who's a gene key expert and he was osho's bodyguard for seven years knows the gene keys and human design like nobody i've ever met <laughs> the guy <clears throat> very advanced being so he introduced dharmendra and i were in a synergy group with him and he introduced us to Le Ciel and they, we got accepted. And so then I've been working with them in the background and they've incorporated some parts of the new paradigm toolkit into the program. And wow. so we've gone through three months and it was personal development. It was the first three months. The second three months is a group coherence. The next three months is collective intelligence. Oh, cool. So I'm, I'm bringing in some of the inflow matrix pieces but then they're bringing in a lot of other pieces that are very, very nice. Like it's uh, well-rounded. Oh, so, yeah. so they've created quite a, a professional training program that everyone's, I don't know how many have dropped out, but I think everyone's still in it. And a lot of shadow work in the beginning with the Gene Keys. And now we're going into group coherent stuff. So these, I just showed them this in today's meeting and I sent them a pile of interfaces because at one idea, is they're doing the synergy wheel and then they would start to use these interfaces in their zoom calls mm, so we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, like we'll we'll see but it, it's it, it it's the first group that i've never left right yeah or it got kicked out of Very people yeah i mean to me it was like okay i'm gonna stick to these guys they've got a very uh, pure intention and you know that type of alignment with spirit to me seems the strongest that you can have, right? In terms of if you really want to do something, right? That has some yeah. gross corn, so to speak. Cool, nice, congratulations. So, the, so that's that's going. And then I've got a group in Yorkton, Saskatchewan that has a place called the Visionary Hub. And they, they're they taking the tools and they're, they're, they've got some, through some online training. So I have been training people online and and uh, so I'm, I'm getting the idea of what I like or don't like. Um, and then there's another guy, and this could be a project I think which you probably could help a lot with, called Mother's Hands, a First Nations friend of mine who wants to build vertical farms in all the reserves in Canada to create the food security for the reserves. Wow. And so that's getting in flow matrix too, to look at how do you create something, cookie cutter business that can create this. And, it, and you know, he's got the vision and um, he's going through a, a training program right now to do his business plan and presentation. And he's got access to First Nations funding uh, as soon as he comes out of it. So that's another project I'm in, which 
I don't know. I mean, I just know that you have a lot of connections in the First Nations world that probably are, are dealing with the same food security problems on their own reserves. So um, there could be some good connections made. Yeah, I mean, most of, most of the First Nations stuff that I've been connected to is like more around like building new healing centers and um, yeah, looking at different ways of uh, helping them especially right now with uh, the jab, like that's a thing um, that's really showing up because they they were already so compromised, you know, compromised that <laughs> I say compromised and I get in trouble with my girlfriend. Cause it's, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so there's already elders that are, you know, that's had the jab that are coming forward that are already having autoimmune, major autoimmune problems and neurology, neurological disorders, things like that. So, it's like already a conversation. Like how, do, how do we support best support? Something we've never, never seen before with the this new RNA modification stuff. Um, and this rogue protein that's yeah. Anyway, so that stuff has been there's been some conversation around that. There's a center that's being built in Lumouet, um to bring together, you know, not just the tribes but all people that that want to be there to create next paradigm healing solutions. And, um, and then, you know, working with some of the other uh, chiefs on some of the psychedelic stuff that we've been doing, because they really want to adopt back and, you know, hold on to some of the ancient practices and teachings and keep that sacred ceremony intact with mm -hmm. this medicine work, which is great because we're super aligned to that. So, we're trying to build next dimension to align to make sure that that there that we don't just we're just not just an extraction again extracting even though we're helping but you know the upper lawn there's like how to interact with them and how to create it in a way that, that essentially well, we talked about this a lot with ruby lake you know how to make that children's fire at the center how to make sure that like every decision is made for the highest good it's not how do we make the most amount of money Right. So there's new paradigm thinking around that as well, around like maybe you make a three X cap for people, for public market investors, you know? So it's not like we can make 10 X and, and then there you go, this money needs to be paid back and nothing gets lifted because it's just so in debt. You know, this big overhead, you know, million dollar burn rate every day. So you get all these like execs and all this, you know, stupid So like, we're like, okay, how do we get on the ground running in four months and have like support of the, indigenous nations and, and, and help them as much as possible and help you know where did, where all these medicines have been extracted from to start giving back and supporting the amazon supporting gabon where you know one of the the big ones that we're working with is ibogaine and ibogaine is is almost extinct <laughs> the iboga bark is it's almost all an 80 90 percent of it globally that's being i think sold globally is being poached so yeah, so that's something to tackle when you're when a big part of your one of your verticals is is iboga, right? Saying to them like, "Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> First of all, there's almost none left. We better, you know, start working with some farmers and grow it." Um, so those kind of things, like, don't just like, and they're like, "No, we'll just synthesize it," and you know, away we go. Like, no, actually, it needs. There's, you know, for thousands of years they designed it to help fire there's a fire element in that that really works well with that medicine and there's certain alkaloids that are in that that whole bark you can't just extract the one hydrochloric you know part and you know that yeah that's the the component that does the specific opioid addiction extraction but mm. there's a lot more to it you know mm. so anyways but yeah that's that's more where i've been focusing not so much on the other sides and yeah and then this whole thing with the other the school that kind of took a few people off on a different tangent that we've been working with I don't know, do you hear about that where they found they're saying it's 200 but I think it's close to 350 bodies oh yeah so now they're gonna now they want to do the same use the same technology in all of the schools that were so looking at hundreds of thousands of bodies. Jeez. 
Anyways, um, you haven't met my girlfriend. No. My partner. Has she been listening at the side? <laughs> She's working away on, on the hair, hair turn, ceremony. Turn so She's building courses as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nora, yeah. Elijah. This is, this is the reason why things are actually happening for me. <laughs> She's like, doing. <laughs> oh, my God. Someone, someone who's supporting you in your work? Is that? I know. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's also a badass healer, Jedi as well. We work together. We do the, we do the psychedelic therapy work together. We mm -hmm. take people, wow. get them into the, they get to meet God, and then we have to land them and, and then help them to. Usually it's about three days before they can really kind of get back to work, you know. Yeah. And if you well, get, that, if they that's take, the awakening. That's we, the awakening. We do that's, other treatments yeah, too, we, where they're not as intense. But. We build up to that. That's we've the, the awakening is, dude. I can't wait to show you the awakening. <laughs> like literally, be in that like the five space. You do like a bit of five, and most people are like, I don't really remember anything. Be in there for two hours of exploration, mm -hmm. and then come back and feel safe and held and your nervous system's down regulated you're breathing properly you're supported any child stuff comes up gets addressed and taken care of in that moment and be patterned with lots of safety and acceptance and all that and then and uh, and then we land them and we give them some support for integration some breath work some kundalini yoga some yoga that kind of thing so yeah that, that's kind of a part of the this whole our, our part which is the awakening protocol and and the uh, sky method yeah. to, to teach other people how to do what we're doing so that they're not just you know everyone's like oh i give my friend some five you know it's like yeah anyone can light a pipe and give someone a pretty profound experience but <laughs> <laughs> is it really helping them you know that's the, the, the deeper question yeah Anyways. yeah how do you how do you guys know each other oh my god so elijah and i have been buddies uh well we met through ruby lake which was a community project that we were both involved in. did we meet before that we must have where do we meet the chai chai well I don't remember. I don't remember either, but I know that we, we had that run in at that club a few years later and I was like, ew. And uh, Elijah was in a different space at that time, but he's like landed big time and just pulled it. I think ketamine was really helpful for you. Like that was a big turning point for you. Huge, yeah. huge. Yeah. I, didn't, I, I had no idea how much resentment I had inside me until it was gone. And it was just like, holy shit. What the fuck is this? <laughs> right. I, I even talked to my brother. I talked to my brother and I hadn't talked to him in like 10 years or something. And we had one of the best conversations. We had the best conversation we'd ever had. Wow. He was present. He was, he was totally, the pre you know, he's never been present. And then it was first time he's going, because he was, he knew this was the, you know, you haven't talked to your brother in 10 years, you know, maybe. <laughs> don't do some insulting jabs, you know, <laughs> but the ketamine just, it just, uh, it's a miracle drug to me. Yeah. It's incredible. We, we're yeah. so grateful we can share it with people. We have a, we, we have a ketamine circle here. Yeah. And if you really, yeah. do we have we one do spot? It monthly. Um, we can make a spot. We may have a spot on Sunday if you want them to join us. For Where really? You You're around here. You might have to edit this out if you're going to ever post this. <laughs> <laughs> um i gotta get my van going but i'll uh that gives me incentive to do it an east van? huh Still an east van no oh, i'm in uh where am i where am i <laughs> <laughs> you're floating out in the universe it looks like, yeah, it looks like uh, king edward and uh king edward i'm saying that my, like mind, my mind just blanked out. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, anyways, we do, we do them once a month. So if you're, okay, and you're doing one on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let me. Uh, Be fun. 
Let me see if I can put that together. Let me, I just got to get my vehicle going. So I'll get that going. We're looking for some more masculine energy. Yeah, too. we're looking for more masculine. We're having trouble in our life right now with masculine energy. So. <laughs> oh, really? Healthy masculine. Safe, healthy masculine. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see how far I get with that one. <laughs> you seem safe and healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's pretty safe. Oh. I, I uh, well, I, haven't, I haven't been around many people, so I've been very, I feel very uh, calm, nice. It's not like I find the less time you spend with people, the, the more <laughs> the more okay things are. <laughs> yeah. Elijah's like seven feet tall. He's like, he's, he's like, six, he's six, like six, six. You're like Gandalf. <laughs> six what? Six foot six. Six, six. Yeah. Nice. His feet are like, how long are your how, how big are your 13 feet? size 13. Yeah, size then. 13. Get him a special bed for the ceremony. He's a he's a wizard. How many how many people it, god like I I love ketamine. <laughs> Have you done intermuscular before? I don't think so. What does that mean? We inject you with like it. What? Yeah. yeah, it's completely different than uh snorting it. It's okay. Like uh liquid heaven <laughs> yeah it's pretty awesome oh but, but wait did you had you hadn't done much ketamine when we did it together right no no so that so you got did i introduce you to ketamine or uh, i mean you did it before i think in different oh, forms did but i we, but we had a great trip <laughs> yeah no, i hadn't done the ketamine training yet i did the i did the ketamine assisted psychotherapy training with one of the top psychedelic uh therapists in, in the u.s after that but yes i think that was like there were some was some beautiful moments. <laughs> Just, oh my God. Do you still have that recording? We recorded our session. Oh, somewhere. <laughs> I don't think so, but what was that thing that you said? I just said, I just, he was asking me questions and I was just going, yes, yes, yes. I was like, now, now. It was all in the present moment. That was it. Now. And it's yes. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't get any more profound than that. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my God, that was great. Awesome. Well, Elijah records everything, like everything. He's probably got about 9 million videos online now. That nobody's seen. <laughs> he doesn't care if he only gets eight views. It doesn't matter. He keeps going. He's a, he's a worker bee. He's like, he goes, goes, goes. He's, he's developing systems. He's, he's got the um, planetary guardians. He's helped like, you know, with fish farms and, and he's up there like strapping himself to the trees and the loggers. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's quite, quite the being. Great. Uh, well, sounds like he had some insight on how to scale and really good advice because it's just been me and sky struggling to put one and two really in. oh geez and we have so much else going on so it's i know that's a lot of work focus and yeah yeah and start really getting like a lot of the courses together and, and you know we want to have enough there that like when we do the soft launch like you know people can peek around and there's stuff to see and it's kind of already got some content and so when are you thinking of doing the soft launch? June nineteenth. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's soon. It may yeah. be August nineteenth. We've pushed it one twice already. Yeah. No, we did it. We did a like super soft launch, like three, well, we weeks, three weeks ago. I haven't really invited anyone other than the people that have like kind of been interested in doing something. Wrong. Yeah, but it needs to start getting momentum because. People aren't really using it, so we need to get on it. It's, yeah. yeah. You need, like, it's you, like only me and Sky posting and like liking each other's things. It's like, okay. There's a really cool training that we've done. And, you know, there's certain things that we'll, have, we'll initiate once we are launching, which will get conversations struck up and things like that. Like, you know, asking, uh, doing those polls and things like that. And, and yeah just maybe getting the team to, to get on there and start, you know, having sort of conversations and welcoming people and things like that sort of, you know, once it, it's just, it's like the engine, right? You got to get it started. And then once it's sort of like functioning, people will 
sure. But when you go on there and it says there's only two people, you know, online. It's, yeah. yeah. No, you gotta. It's it. You gotta work it. Yeah. You gotta, and then the thing is, you you need to team, man. You need, <laughs> it's, it's like shine if you go to unite have you been in shines uh i i went and signed on and i it, it i never could get in there i don't know like okay well he's it's the same thing of, of he's he's saying liking everything like everything <laughs> he has to be the main guy who's just doing <laughs> because no one else is doing it so yeah um and he's he's looking to build his he needs the same thing but it's uh, it's hard, man. It's hard. There's so much competition, right? There's just so much competition. Do you watch TikTok? No, no, no. I've I've lately switched from Facebook to TikTok, and it's it's fascinating. It is so. It's such a. a you, know, you can kill eight hours in like. A minute. Yeah, I mean, you can just and there's so much talent and there's so much humor. But but not a lot of let's say spiritual teachers, but some. But it but it's 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 like to me, that's the draw from TikTok into your network. That I would suggest all teachers would have a TikTok and then come up with ten or twenty teaching tips. Oh, I see. That that would then because like, you get fifty thousand, thirty thousand people, man. I mean, there's people with 1.3 million, like there's so many people using it, 500 million at least. And they're like, just like, you're just in there. You're just da, 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 da. And if you do your hashtags right and you kind of get with the right something, all of a sudden you can have a whole bunch of people who are participating. So I just think as one of the marketing avenues, right. um, like you need a kind of like a mastermind group for all the teachers and you should probably meet with those guys like once a week uh, or once every two weeks and brainstorm marketing strategies. I can help with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll just get people doing interfaces, man. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that sounds really cool. Well, we, let's have a follow-up conversation and see what, what that might look like. And, um, how, yeah, what that looks like. Yeah, have those conversations because yeah, we're we're open to whatever. And it's exciting. We're having fun with it. But it's yeah, definitely we know that we need to kind of scale into a, a team at some point. We brought someone on, but it was like, yeah. It was more trouble than it was good. Yeah, it was like when you bring someone on and you're like, okay, I'm paying you, but actually I have to tell you everything before you do it. And I could have just done it. And then you did it differently. And now and I've got to redo it. And then you have to a month later. Oh, and it's just so, like, yeah, that kind of didn't work out. So yeah, yeah. I think I think it'd be good to give like, posit, like say each, each category, each circle, give someone like, sort of like the get behind them to really sort of like champion that space, you know? For sure. Now we have to break it down that way. And then, you know, same thing with people's personal spaces and like give them some support to be able to build the courses. So like somebody that's maybe build that in. So if there's like, like a model where people, if they want to come on and actually help people build courses, find people and help them build courses. And then they take a percentage of that course, you know, mm -hmm. translating a course that's already out there. Um, you know, so there's lots of little models where we could create, you know, jobs, I guess, for people. For sure. And I, I think that's important. Uh, I think you need to structure it. Um, but of course, I'm going to say that that's all I freaking do. <laughs> <laughs> You need to structure it. We need to structure. <laughs> we need some structure. In, we need to be the, in all aspects. Not the yeah. <laughs> I always used to say every fraggle needs a doozer. And every do what? Do you remember Fraggle Rock? He yeah. Dates me on this. I, I, yeah. I, it's given me a date, but that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, just seeing half the Jedi. Fraggles were these like creative, super fluffy, floaty, like spiritual kind of beings. And then the doozers were these workers that were like, nee, nee, work, build, build, build. And the doozers, uh, the, the fraggles ate the doozers building. That was their like food. <laughs> and they lived in symbiosis because as soon as they broke the building down, they're like, woo, we can build some more. Build, build, build. They rebuilt where they're eating. <laughs> so it was this beautiful, but like, 
you know you get too many fraggles in a room and like nothing gets done and just like remember, remember ruby lake is like oh and then we're gonna have temples at the top of the mountain and we're gonna zip line down to our tree houses and they're gonna have like a, a giant crystal flowing in from tibet that's gonna hang above the lake and <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, we haven't even got a purchase agreement. <laughs> dream never dies, just a dreamer. Yeah. Okay, so I, I imagine you've got that, Clint, I've been working for 16 straight hours. I need to go to sleep, look. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired. I actually, I shouldn't be on any calls after nine. Like, oh, the other uh, post brain injuries, 19,000. <laughs> Head injuries and concussions. <laughs> well, I feel special, which is nice. Yeah, it was good to tune in, man. It's been a while. Yeah. Well, it's it's good because I think we, we both built what we had to build. And now we can look at okay, how do we connect what we got? Mm -hmm. And um who's got what and yeah, I mean there's way too much work to do. Fuck. We got <laughs> right. Yeah, it's a big mission at hand. Um, and then, but like, you know, I, this feels so aligned, like you're talking about, like, was it Dharma, developing your Dharma? Um, um design the Dharma, Dharma design. You froze just as you said that. Design your Dharma. Design your Dharma. Dharma, Dharma by design. Dharma by design. That yeah. sounds better. Dharma by design. Can you invite him to just sit there and just be happy so he has access to oh yeah i'll invite you to bliss temple that's our k ceremony mm -hmm. group for our journeys and uh what time is that um three o'clock three thirty three thirty three three thirty till when um nine. we should go to about nine 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 thirty okay cake not cake okay i'll i'll I have to sort of be a maybe just, I just got to do some things to my car. But, uh, yeah, well, you'll be on here anyways, and then we'll we post our next journeys and stuff. On it. Wow, doing ketamine journeys. <laughs> I know, right? Well, you know why we started doing it? Because the, like, five is too loud. If someone has a full release, they're like, Wah! and we have neighbors downstairs. And then in mushrooms, same thing, just everyone's so social and banging around and stuff. So we were like, let's, let's tranquilize them. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Not to do much. <laughs> no, it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's profound, actually. It's to put it in a ceremonial container and, and with intention. It's, it's, yeah. It was so I remember the, the first time I did it with Miss Plum, and in the middle, I was just going, this is how we're going to win. This is our secret weapon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, like, like, you know, next dimension is like literally we we want to be first to market with getting off label use. I, I'll I'll help all. I love that stuff, man. I think it's panacea. What's your email? What's the email? Do you want me to invite you with? Elijah E L I J A H Ignatieff I G N A T I E F F at Gmail. It's really cool. Like it's got notifications and email messaging. It's got like, like the whole community. Everything you need to run a course. Yeah, everything. Perfect. Whole online community chat. There's yeah, and then yeah, and then we've got the then there's the whole marketplace, which is exciting too because we have like fashion blasters and we have all these different technologies and things to make your own like you know MMS and there's uh, you know and then there's like microdosing chocolates and there's and there's uh, just lots of cool stuff that you can find you know bliss buffers. What are some of our spirit hacker, you know, marketplace stuff? Oh, um, yeah, fashion blasters. Fashion blasters. Bliss buffer. The, bliss buffer. the psychedelic integration kit. Can we get that? Oh, for yeah. So like a whole, there's a whole line of integration, psychedelic integration, nutritionals. 
uh, water stack or like all the health hack devices. Yeah, health hack devices. You know, there's not really a place for that. That's pretty. Okay. So that'll be another one of our main business models. Okay, so my brother, my sister, great to meet you and great to uh, see you both. Good to meet you too. I look forward to seeing you in uh, person, if not yeah. Sunday, some other day soon. Yeah. Sounds good. And uh, wonderful talking with my brother. You too. You too. Bless your heart. See you soon. Much love. Much love. Much love.